Bagger was the last town in the Borno North area under government control. It hosted the multinational joint task force made up of troops from Chad, Nigeria and Niger. Their job had been to combat the very insurgents who seized the base. But the troops fled when it came under attack at the weekend. Reports indicate they put up almost no resistance. Nigerians living in the northeast of the country say they've had enough. If you look at this issue of Boko Haram recently, the attacks have intensified and there seems to be no, no answer to this issue. So it's something that we all Nigerians should take seriously and maybe put in our prayers to the God. I mean, it's, it's worrisome. Each time you just wake up, bomb blasts, kidnapping, it's really, really affecting the, what, the image of the country. It's very, very bad. But what's perhaps most disturbing is that Boko Haram has a multi-pronged approach. The group doesn't just attack, it abducts people too. At the weekend, it emerged that as many as 40 young men and boys were taken by the group. More than 2,000 people were killed by Boko Haram in 2014. And with elections scheduled for next month, Nigerians say the government needs to step up national security efforts and fast. Clementine Logan, CCTV.